This video explains how to change a data object containing yes and no to one and zero in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called vec. And we can print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our vector contains five elements and some of these elements contain the character string yes and other elements contain the character string no. Now, if we want to convert this vector object to a one zero dummy, then it makes sense to first duplicate this vector object to keep an original version of the input vector. And we can do that as you can see in line five of the code. So if you run this line of code, a new vector object is appearing, which is called vec dummy. And at this point, this data object contains exactly the same character strings as our input vector. In the next step, it also makes a lot of sense to convert our vector object to the character class. In this example, our input vector already has the character class. However, it still doesn't hurt to use the as character function to make sure that our data object has the character class. So after running line seven of the code, our data object has the character class. And then in the next step in lines nine and 10, we can replace yes by one and no by zero. So after running lines nine and 10 of the code, our data values are replaced by one and zero. And then in the next step, we also should convert our data object to the numeric class, as you can see in line 12 of the code. So for this, we can use the s.numeric function. And then once again, we are storing the output of this in our vector object that we have called vec dummy. So if you run line 12 of the code, our data object is converted to the numeric class. And then in line 14 of the code, we can print our data object to the RStudio console. So after running this line of code, you can see that our data object was converted to a one zero dummy, where the value one is appearing in case our input vector contained the character string yes, and the value zero is appearing in case our input vector contained the value no. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.